Alright, well, I don't want to turn the microphone off, so... Alright, a little bit of a glitch there. We'll have to start again here. A little bit of a glitch. Starting over. Alright, so... <clears throat> give it a second to... Line up there. Alright. Not sure why it wouldn't let me do that. Alright, anyways... Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, folks. Well, sorry about that. Had a little bit of a glitch the first time we tried to start this bad boy up. Um, would not let me turn on my microphone, so don't, not sure why. But anywho, this is your host, I D Jester. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you're watching this later, we are doing the live stream here on my Twitch channel. Of course, it's twitch.tv forward slash idjester. <sighs> Would be uh, greatly appreciated if you were to join up and uh, subscribe to the Twitch channel and also uh, like the video on YouTube and become a subscriber there as well. So, once again, we are starting up here and we are looking at playing the Logans here. And you can see we've done a pretty good job if we zoom out kind of uh, trying to secure this middle quadrant of the uh, universe here. Before I actually started recording, though, I was clicking around on a bunch of things because it's been a few days just to reallocate and figure out what we're doing. And uh, I think we're at kind of a crucial part of the game right now. And so um, I need to really focus. So I'm not sure how much gameplay we're going to get done. We will, of course, get some done, but uh, as you can see over here in our resources, our Gravitonium is, is okay. Nothing to write home about. We only get 1.4. I think we start with 1.1 or 1.0, so we, we don't have much Gravitonium, extra Gravitonium coming in. Iridium is a little bit better. We're at 3.13, uh, and that is uh, a lot better than what we first started with. Our Metals is horrible. 2.17. We need to do something about getting some more metals for us. Our organics is doing a nice job. We're up to 15.6. Uh, and our plutonium there is a little bit better. 6.69. From These are all based upon the original stats. Uh, some of our worlds are just starting to get uh, made and starting to produce things. Problem is we have this minus 43,000 food production. Uh, if our people start starving, they're going to be very unhappy, and uh, the whole thing is going to go to crap. So we need to make sure that we can get uh, our food um, problem taken care of. Now, we do have 18.6 million in the bank, so we've got some stores out there, <sighs> some storage for our food. So it's not like we're going to run out within a turn or two. It's going to take a little while. Uh, so what I've been looking at is actually if we go to our world, our Galo planet that we had conquered not too long ago, um, we needed to get some stuff for this planet going. And this is uh, going to be one of our agricultural planets. Right now you see we only have two farms. Uh, we have another farm that's going to be producing, and then a Planetary Research Institute, which would give us a nice science boost. Let's see which one of those is the, the Research Center produces the beakers. The Research Institute, I believe, does the, um, the little atom. Uh, do, 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 do. Planetary Research Institute. So we don't really need this right this second. We are more concerned about our food. So we're going to build some more farms here. Probably another five of them. And uh, we're going to let those queue in. Because this planet should be a powerhouse for us. Should definitely be. See, we have a huge food and huge science bonus here. So we're going to, even though we have agriculture, we're going to be putting mostly just food and uh, science on this planet. But most importantly, we're going to 
we switched it to agriculture so it would build all the farms first because we need to take care of our situation with our food. Now, with that said, we have several other things going on in our home system here. You see we have a colonizer, it's only got one year left to build. Uh, you can see we have some ships here that actually have been damaged uh, when we came up and we were fighting that guys, those pirates up there. Uh, in fact, we have a couple other fleets up there as well. We're trying to make sure we can secure this really important planet for us. Uh, so we brought a fleet back home and what we realize now is to actually get these guys to repair uh, there can't be anything in the queue, and you have to take them to a system that can actually build those ships. If a system can build the ships, then they can repair them as long as nothing's in the queue. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait a year, let this colonizer finish, and then we're going to start repairing our ships and bring them back up here. We are getting kind of crowded in with all of our other alien races now starting to take over different locations. The other thing I noticed is we actually have a colonizer here that's headed to the Alshin system, which happens to be way down here, uh, which is another Earth-like. It's our last Earth-like we know about, and it's got a nice food production. So we're going to make this another food-producing planet, um, and it's way out there. So, I mean, if somebody comes and conquers it, takes it over, whatever, that's fine. Um, but we are going to take it for the food and see if we can get that system up and running. The only problem with that is we actually have a colonizer going to Ashen, and then we have another colonizer going to Ashen. So we have two colonizers headed over there, which we don't want to do, which means we have an Axel. I'm going to cancel its route. An Axel, an Axel, blah, extra colonizer that's headed out there. So we need to figure out where the next place we would like to colonize is. So one of the things we looked at was, you know, um, taking this point here and this point here to kind of box out the drill. I believe these are the drill. Is it? I'm trying to remember who. Yeah, the, I think it's the drill are there. I'm trying to keep them down in this quadrant so they're not coming up into our area trying to steal our stuff. We do have another colonizer which is headed out to this point here. Now, we have a little bit of metal, organics, and plutonium. It's not a very good planet, but because if we take this planet here, we can claim all of this area is ours because there's no other way to get to these planets other than through this system. Um, so that would be obviously very important for us to do that. So it's either claiming this system or this one here or this one or this one here, I guess. But then that would let the drill come out this way uh, so it's kind of a matter of is it worth settling on a not very great planet to kind of secure your border lines I think it might be so I think we're gonna go ahead and let that colonizer head out there which means then the next important system is going to be this one here because this is the system that comes in over this way so if we claim this is ours uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Some a little bit of gravitonium, some metal, some organics, and plutonium. Again, not great, um, not a great amount of resources, but still, for strategic value, I think this is going to be a good system. So I think what we're going to do is uh, hit this guy over here. Now the problem with settling these metal planets is again. We're going to have people on these planets that are going to demand more food. So, unfortunately for us, we're kind of in the dilemma here. We need to get that food taken care of uh, right away. Now, there's also another system here called the Vey system. Where is the Vey system? Hmm, uh, let's go to our economic panel here. Look at our planets. I want to do it by type. Alright, here's Ve. Alright, so if we go to that system, which happens to be... Oh, right here it is. Okay, so there's Ve. So if you look at Ve, uh, it was building a meteorological pl 
plant to get some more resources there. But what I did was I started building five farms ahead of that. So that way we can get some f extra food from this system, even though it's not the best producing uh, food planet that we have, we have to take care of our food situation. Alright, so that's kind of a recap of where we were at from last time. If you're joining us late, thanks for joining us. Of course, my name is ID Jester. Uh, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you can always subscribe to my Twitch channel and we do lots of live gaming here. So, that's going to be the game plan. Let's see what happens here. Um, we'll speed it up a little bit. I don't like playing it super fast. See how slow our colonizers are. You should stop at this system and stop the game. Oh, okay, we already redirected them over there. That's good. All right. Fleet completed. Um, oh, so we have another colonizer. That's good. So, we have nothing in the queue, so this should start repairing this fleet now. So we have to kind of micromanage this for a little bit because as soon as this fleet gets done, we want to ship it back over there and we want to take our other broken fleets and ship them over here. In fact, we're going to take this guy and start bringing him back over here, I think. No, wait. Sure. We're going to take them all over there, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead and merge this fleet with uh, this one there. So we have Corvette, Corvette, Corvettes. All right, so in the meantime, our colony ship, very important colony ship, actually. Uh, so we're thinking about doing the same thing up here. Again, this system has absolutely nothing to colonize, so we can't prevent people from coming in and out. But we can come out here and colonize this planet. Oh, it's got a nice source of min uh, min blah, metals for us. Plutonium and organics we don't really care about. So can you reach out there? Uh, yes, you can. So notice our colonizer fleet is uh, 12,000 is the default fuel. Uh, that's because we edited our colonizing ships right off the bat. So I think if we claim this world here I think that's going to... Oh, no, no, no. We want to uh, board some colonists first, obviously, yes. Um, possibly not enough. Do, 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 do. Yes, go ahead. Alright, so our one and only industrial planet here, Sadalus Lund, Sadalsund. Uh, notice some of my... Uh, if you missed our previous episode... Uh, just a tip for you guys, or maybe something you guys might want to do if you're playing this, is rename your systems um, with a, a dash B or dash I or dash A, depending on what the system is. So that way, quickly at a glance, you can see. So I know that the Princeps sector, the planets that I'm using in this sector, is a dash B. I know that this is a balanced world. Uh, same thing with this one, dash B, it's a balanced world. This one is dash I, I know this is industrial world. Uh, this is dash R, dash R is research. They use, I in, what do they use, um, intuition. But we're already using I for industrial, so I use dash R for research. Uh, and of course, dash A for agricultural worlds. So it's easier for me, um, in fact, we didn't rename this one yet, so dash A, because I know that's now an agricultural world. So uh, notice our food consumption is already going down. We, we were, I was a little worried about that. Um, but this system here, once it starts kicking in these farms, with its bonus of 78%, I should be able to make lots of food for our whole world. For all of our other worlds, and that's going to help tremendously. Problem is, this world is so good at so many good things. Uh, let's just take a look at it. Uh, here it is. It's uh, well, we can't actually see the stats right now, but it was so good at so many different things. I don't want to focus just on agricultural. 
Um, you notice it actually has this research points. Uh, there's not too many worlds out there that will actually give you the research points, the atoms. Uh, I call them the atoms. I don't know what the actual. Lots of worlds will give you beakers, but none of them give you that. Not very often do you find the atoms. In fact, if we look at our, we do a search, you can see we actually have no systems currently that are producing any um, atoms for us. And we only have two worlds, two super Earth out there, and the rest are all blank. So it's kind of a rare, rare resource. Um, and what you use these for, uh, if you look at it, one world happens to be out here, which means I would have to fly through this guy's space and this guy's space to try and colonize over here. They're not going to be happy with it, so probably not going to get that one. Uh, the other one happens to be uh, up here, which again, I would have to fly through their space, come around, fly through their space some more, and land up there and hopefully take it over. Good thing is it does have some nice iridium as well. Uh, and if you read the text here, uh, it actually talks to you about the fact that iridium the highest concentrations of iridiums will be found on super earth uh, and a reason why if you want to pause the text if you're watching this later you can check this out and read it um, there is a lot of nice information in the game if you actually spend the time to read it most people look at this block of text and say ah, I'm not reading all that but there's actually a lot of good information if you read it okay so um, so our two super earths one here the one here aren't going to be able to get to which means we absolutely positively have to use um, this world not just for agriculture but we're going to have to produce a little bit of science um, on here which is good because our science gets quite a bit of bonus here and notice it also has a huge iridium deposit here as well 7.0 um, so would it even be worth oh I already created the iridium plant I knew that was like my number one priority uh, was to create the iridium plant so we can start resource start getting some of these resources off of it okay so um, you are not the one I'm looking for you are headed up there alright so uh, let's let it go see if everybody makes it to their spots hopefully they will before anybody's colonizing somebody just went from here to here and probably maybe coming up this way we'll see um, we'll turn it up just slightly faster here okay we got a ship headed out here well it's monitoring our food production here free free just reaches destination all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, colonize again two eight six four not the best of numbers but you know everything every little bit helps so we're going to um, colonize this planet and hopefully we can start boxing these guys out from our area of course this way just piss them off and they might come in with a bunch of ships and kill us but uh, that's the uh, problem we will take oh yes the other thing we were gonna do is monitor oh, looks like look at that all of our ships and all of our fighters have been repaired already so that did not take very long so we're going to send them back to our uh, Gala world over there so they can protect our northern border here and that means we're free to now build something on here which I think will be another colonizer you see the colonizers take quite a bit of resources to build so in five years of time which you know that goes by pretty quick in this game but all right so back to what we're doing here you need to colonize and of course it's going to be a mineral planet so it'll build all the mining resources so hopefully we can get some resources out of there so we're at one three two seventeen boy we just got a big jump in organic somebody just built an organics uh factory in one of our planets here 
if we look at our science, we're actually doing, we have no research in the atoms, but we have 28.2 in our regular science, which uh, is okay compared to some of the other worlds out there. Uh, if we actually go to a world, we can actually bring up the charts here, and you can see that our science, progress in science here, uh, as of this point here, whatever date that happens to be, we started taking off, and our science points generated. Um, very nice. So we're, we're way ahead in the science race compared to the other races right now, so that's a good thing. Uh, the one thing we do need to do is, this is kind of our powerhouse industrial world over here. You notice it has a dash I here. Uh, this world here, we'll let it finish building a couple more factories. Right now it has, uh, let's go ahead and just compare it in our um, economics panel here. So this is one of these games, uh, 4X games, that if you, you know, um, you can just put it on fast forward and just do your things in real time. Um, but I think it's best played kind of uh, on pause. You do a bunch of stuff and then on pause it, let it do everything, and then, and then pause it afterwards. It's not one of those ones you want to rush through, I don't think. Um, what, 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 what was the name of this damn thing? Um... Uh, Gaia Gosh. Gaia. Gaia Hosh. Alright. Oh, nope. That's not what I want. I want this. Gaia Hosh. Right here. Alright. So you can see, um, it's, even though it's an industrial planet, it's producing a little bit of food, but it's producing, uh, 79.7 hammers, and also for our space, this is what the the circle hammers, so anything it builds in space, the shipyards, um, that's going to be uh, building ships. You can see we're at 8.64. You compare that with our home world. Our home world only has 9.36 production and 1.08 on the shipbuilding. So we're at about, you know, six times better producing ships here, and we're getting a lot more hammers. Um, than our own world. So we can build really fast on this system. Uh, if we build a ship, if we build, uh, say, two more colonizers here, they're a little afraid of in danger of invasion. A few, few people unprotected. It's usually because nearby enemies. By deploying a defensive feet into orbit, Restricting some police forces or building whoop, whoop, building defenses. All right, all right, all right. A bunch of whiny butts. <sighs> we don't have the population right now, so population is everything in this game. All right, let's look at our. We're down to minus twenty-one thousand. All right, how is our? Did our? farms get built over here yet nope it's still working on that farm still waiting for more population all right um oh, let's just that's what i was going to do over here was build us um two more colony ships now notice my two colony ships are going to take one year and four months here compare that to our six years or five and a half years on our main world so we'll go ahead and finish up this factory. It's only got two more months, then we'll build a couple colonizers. This planet over here is going to be able to spit out lots of ships. The problem is we need to then get the ships from here, over here, or wherever the problem comes from. So, with that, you have to figure out what the longest jump is between your two systems. Because if I'm trying to bring um, ships uh, from this side over to this side, it's going to go from here to here, and it's going to be able to refuel, it's going to be able to refuel, he oh, I'm sorry, that's not our world. It's going to be able to go from here to here and refuel, but how far is that? That is going to be 4,300. Okay, so that's okay, and then from there to there is 3,000, and then from here to here, 
is you know 1100 so so far our biggest jump is 5000 so let's say we got to come up to the north how much of a jump do we have to go so we'd have to go from here up to here up to here and so we're only at 4400 and then from here to here it, oh, from here to here is 4400 so right now everything we have enough fueling locations along the way that we could build if you go into ship designer here, um, notice our Corvettes here, our default, default Corvettes only have a range of 5,000. So we don't want to have a jump distance more than 5,000 or we'd have to, you know, redesign these, which we could do. It's not a big deal. Our laser strike force has a jump range of 5,000. Our laser fighter carriers have a range of only, oops, 4,000. So we should probably try to squeeze on another um, another thousand out of this and we're not going to be able to get these guys from one side of the world to the other. Now normally I would go ahead and redesign this for you guys right now but because our science is going so well we're going to be getting some more things here along the way like armor piercing torpedoes and you know all the other things the incept inceptors. Larger version of a fighter spaceship. The ship uh, accepts the installation of medium-sized pylons, which in which upon heavier weapons can be mounted. Okay, so and then of course we have the medium pylons coming not too long after that. So I'm not really going to redesign our ships when we have this new technology coming because then I would just have to redesign them again. But with that said, the fact that it's got a range of 6,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. So the only thing that really is slow right now is our one laser fighter carrier. So what I'm going to do, and we actually have two of these out already. What we will do is we will copy this laser carrier. Um... Laser carrier, laser fighter carrier. Uh, let's see, laser fighter. Four. Now the reason I put the, f um, actually we are going to call it five because we're going to try and squeeze in another. So I always put the number based upon the range of the ship. So if you, uh, if we just happen to go back and look at our strike carrier five, I can tell by name that this is going to have a range of five. If I go to my colonizer, you notice my colonizer twelve. It's not because it's the twelfth version. It's because the distances in this game and the fuel consumption are king. So knowing that information and knowing how far <coughs> each of your ships can go at a quick glance by naming them that way is so much easier than clicking on it and having to trigger, you know, oh, my range is 12. So just name your ship whatever uh, whatever distance it goes. So back to our Corvette Carrier 5 here. Now we just need to figure out a way to get um, added to. We do, we should have some better... These will just make them faster. That's all that does. Uh, but what we do need to do is go in and get our better gas tanks. Hopefully. We can redesign it a little bit better. It's up to 4,000. Okay, here's what we'll do. See, here's where this is where the gravity resonance tank and the standard fuel tank. You don't think it makes that much a difference? Why would I want this? It actually requires more energy and more resources, and it doesn't really do that much because you can see the capacity is still only a thousand. The power consumption goes from 400 to 700. So why would I want this better, this tank? Why am I spending all these extra resources on stuff? Well, let me show you. Uh, with our standard, standard fuel tank, you can see we can't do jack to get, that's it. That's all we can do. But to the fact that this is a four by six, 
will give us one extra row here. You see that? One extra row. So now what we can do is put this over instead of right there. We can slide it over one spot, which means we can now take our other gravity tank and put it on that side. So now our range is going to go up to 5,000 once I put our generator back in. What? Oh, okay. I was going to say, there we go. So there, that's the whole reason that these other tanks can be good is because you can slide it, slide things over just one little spot and sometimes you can fit that extra fuel tank in now, just like we did. So now we got a range of 5,000 on these. <sighs> of course, we had to use up a little bit more power, but you know, whatever, it still works. Um, we got our 20 fighters in each of these. We got the uh, better speed on them now, 6.84 with our better engines. Um, and uh, I was trying to show you something else real quick, but I will i didn't do it. So let me show you that again, all right? So uh, actually, let's just go back to the undo action. There we go. We'll start back at the beginning here. Come on, there. All right, so we're back. Oop, go back one more. There we are. So we're back to what before we started. All right, and you notice our gravity. See, we can't put it in there because we don't. We need one more column in there, so it just won't fit. Won't fit anywhere, right? So what? What you can do is obviously um, remove these other tanks and hit the better fuel tanks. And you notice I can slide it over one spot. Oh, gotta get rid of that guy too. Come on, get, get a, there you go. All right, so um, what I can do is, you right click to remove this, right? Now you can always go through the menus and stuff to get back and get to click on the nuclear reactor, but what I would, anytime you have an object already on the plane, all you have to do is left click it and your mouse cursor will switch to that object. So if I wanted to add another one of these in, all I have to do is click it. You notice my, it automatically selects that, which is so cool. So if I want to click a generator, instead of having to click back on generators and click on nuclear reactors and then adding it, all I have to do is left click on a, a nuclear reactor and it'll switch it. So if I want to choose laser, there I go. If I want to choose um, hangers, if I want to choose fuel tanks, so you don't need to keep clicking through the menus and stuff, which makes it so cool. I don't know why other people haven't done that. So I'm just going to click on this, and notice now I can put this over instead of here. I can slide it over one spot, which is all I need to add in my fuel tank over there. Three, four, five. So notice our range is back up to, or now up to uh, 5,000. Before, we, the maximum we can get out of this was 4,000 range. Now we're up to 5,000 range. Uh, speaking of lasers, we now actually have 4x4 lasers. Ooh, that could screw everything up because our power balance, we don't have enough. Uh, actually, we don't have any 4x4s in this ship. Hmm, interesting. That's very interesting. All right, so um, that's good because we don't want to change this anyways. So our laser fighter carrier five, we know it goes 5,000 miles and it has 20 fighters and uh, eight lasers and everything's good to go with that. So beautiful. Um, so that's, that's why uh, even though that new fuel tank costs more money, uh, costs more energy, costs more resources, Oh, that damn human took our spot. Oh, you're making me angry. All right, metals, organics, plutonium. All right, fine. You go here. Um, oop, 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 can't see around. All right, now you go there. Then we'll claim this world here because there's no way in and out other than our system here. Assuming we can get there before the... Uh, words. Oh, fleet's done. Fleet. Oh hell, we got two colonizers here. I missed it. Sorry. Hmm. Poor 
four, sixteen four. I'm not really worried about getting that system. I think we should try to colonize a little bit down more down this quadrant down there. So what's in this system? Again, this is another one where it links into us. So if we take it over, sixteen two four. Okay, for the metals, I will definitely do that for the metals. So come this way. And that's one colonizer. We need to figure out what's going on with the other colonizer now. Do we have anything in our fourteen four four? Uh, six two two, two two two. Nothing good. Uh, iridium. That might be good. Iridium and organ. Oh, nice organics. Jeez, twenty. All right, we'll go after. We need our scout. Where the hell is our scout at? Jesus. Do we lose our scout in a battle or something? We should have a scout somewhere, because... Hmm. If we go to our economics, we go to fleets. We can look at our fleets here. So, we have seven total fleets, which is really bad, because the computer has probably got... Hmm. Go to charts here. Uh, number of fleets, yes. Notice we are, what color are we? We are yellow, so we're starting to do a little bit better. A little bit. But we compare that with the koala bears. You can see they're way ahead of us. Oops. With the birds, they're way ahead of us. And these guys were way ahead of us, but now they're back down in our area, so they probably had a bunch of colonizers that colonized a bunch of planets. Alright, so we need to... Oh, what I was doing huh, was going to our fleets. Colonizer, 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 colonizer. There's our scout. Where are you? Epsilon Persis. Oh, this is, oh, this is our scout. Oh, I was thinking it was his scout. Oh, okay. I was, I was like, that guy looks... His ships look just like my ships. <laughs> Dumb. Okay. Um, I don't know why he hasn't sent me a request saying, get your ship out of my territory before I come blow it out of the sky. So we can either come down here and start exploring or come up this way and start exploring. Um, he's got plenty of fuel, so let's just get him out of there. I would like to find out what's over here, but... We'll see. Oh, yes. See, now this is where I get distracted. We have another colonizer. We need to figure out if this system, if we want to try and take it before this guy comes up and takes it. Again, it'll also block him off. Yes, I think we should because it'll block him in. It'll box him in. Okay, it'll box him in because it looks like the only way to get to this whole chain right now, I mean there might be ways coming up through, through this way, is through this system. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we just, oh, no, no, go back, economics, we just, uh, type. So we, oh, we do have an Earth-like still out there. Oh, we're, that's the one we're headed over to colonize. And the two super earth we can't get to, and the rest are just, you know, nothing, nothing. What's this planetoid? Interesting. It's a planetoid. Contaminated, exhausted dwarf, some hots, some frozen, some deserts, and some acidic. So, yeah, we don't have anything great. So we might as well um, use our colonizer to come in and... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's bring our colonizer 
over here and refuel and hopefully this guy will find us a nice planet or something okay so we reach our destination up here which again is just a mineral planet metals nice we need the metals metals obviously use metals for everything computers and ship hull parts and everything and we still got a negative food production but it's down from what was it it was um, 26 27,000 per turn to 18,000 or maybe that's per month I guess um, and it's down to 18,000 so we're getting better 1, 3, 1, 16, and 6. So we got plenty of organics. We need to get more metals. Obviously, some more of the rare resources helps. This one should help with our metals because it's got 16. So we will definitely colonize this for the minerals. The cool thing about that, I was just going to say, it's going to box out everyone into these areas because now the only way in and out of those is through this system which we own so we can claim all this space as ours get your grubby little freaking hands off of it and as soon as this ship shows up here and colonizes we will have a big border pop right there so let's go ahead and get that started oh we got another one that just arrived what do we have here some metals and organics I wish they had the numbers here so I don't need to click on the world 18 and 4, nice frozen world. That's just our scout, right? Okay. This should be arriving, oh, any second, but just before he arrived, we arrived at our other last Earth like that we know about. So, Gravitonium, Iridium is not going to be good. Minerals, not good on this planet. Food and science, obviously, we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to do the food because we need to do the food. That's why. Um, you. Oh, hello. Oh, schmucks. God damn it. I forgot to board the colonists before I headed it out. Oh, and you know what? It's stuck because it doesn't have enough fuel to get back. Um... God bless it. Uh, I think we had made us a oil tanker 35. Okay. So in our industrial planet, which isn't building much of anything, we're going to build this a new ship. We build this a oil tanker 35. And for those of you who've been watching, how far do you think this will go? That's right, 35,000 miles. So, and I can see that by the number. Oh, there it is. We're going to have to build one of those and get our colony ship back from here, back over here to get some colonists. I'm an idiot. Okay, I admit it. All right, so i got a colonizer heading out. You're going... Where are you going? You're going here? Uh, do you have colonists? No, you do not. Okay, well, good thing I caught that. I think that's right. This system here doesn't have any people on it. It can build ships. It just doesn't have any people on it. Uh, we're going to cancel your route. We're going to cancel your route. So we need to find a system that has the population on it. Okay, so it's got 1,900 available. So you can now go up there to pick up people. You... <sighs> yeah, you go there to pick up people. Good thing we caught that. So just because your system can build ships really fast, they can't make necessarily make colony ships real fast. All right, so now this ship has arrived. Finally, it does have colonists. Thank God. That would have been really embarrassing. And more minerals that's all you can do and there's our big border pop right there so we've claimed all of that space is ours as well I'm hoping to grab these systems is so important because when we can we can box off these guys if we take over this system and we can get another big border pop over here 
But we don't want to expand too crazy. And then just have, you know, a whole bunch of territory without any ships to protect it. So we just have to keep that in mind, especially when these other um, civilizations are, you know, they're expanding out this way towards the edge. And sooner, sooner or later, they're going to not be able to expand anymore. So then they're going to want to expand our way. And we are going to prevent that. Hopefully. All right. So critical, critical phase of the game here. All right. Um, so you've reached... Right? You are stuck. Can you even come back any? Nope. He's got no fuel. Alright, well we are building the fuel ship, the oil tanker. So, ah, yeah, it's gonna be done in... Reach, reach his destination. Where? Oh, down here. Ah, uh, yes. For the radium. Uh, the research points. The radium and the metals. Alright, you don't have any... Oh, that, that's a scout. <laughs> I'm getting a little excited here. Alright, so that is just a uh, scout. It's not a colonizer. Can't colonize yet. Do need to just scout around a little bit more. These guys are still slowly going back to get their colonists. And as soon as our tanker gets built, we'll send it out. Oh, hello. Explore. So we got uh, 51 in physics. Good. And this is going to be a key system. Holy cow. Look at that. It's one, two, three, four uh, space pirates here. Definitely space pirates. Don't send your ships in there. They will get murdered. We found that out the hard way. All right. Fleet construction complete. Uh, it should be our oil tanker. Yes, it is. All right, so you can head out here to rescue this guy. So it's going to be from here back to here is 11. Ooh, we can't actually do that. All right, we're going to have to wait for one of these colony ships to colonize one of this system. But in the meantime, oil tanker go here because we're going to colonize this world. Even though we don't want to, we're going to have to. This is going to be key world. Um, okay, what do you got? Nothing. You can still make it down there. Go ahead. Super Earth. Oh, oh, oh. Running into another race down here. I uh, can't make it. Okay, so... Start coming back. Oh, wait a minute. What are you? Oh, you're the oil tanker. Look at how fast the oil tanker is. Nice. Fleet construction. What is this? Another colonizer. This time, border colonists. Gravitonium, metals. Can't be colonized. So this system is worthless. What about this one? Metals. I think our northern expansion is pretty much dead. This system isn't worth anything. This system isn't worth anything. And we can't get up there without going through other people's stuff. Now, it doesn't mean I can't go through them. They'll get all bent out of shape and stuff. The only problem is I'll never get my borders to, you know, my border won't just, you know, kind of expand out to, to grab this. It won't never do that. It'll be its own little isolated group out there. And if we ever go to war, it'll be out there by itself. People will be unhappy. So I think our northern expansion is pretty much dead. Our southern expansion, on the other hand, you get out here. So we're going to... What? Whoa, 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 cowboy. What do you... Th Attention, you are approaching a planetary system controlled by the Logan Brotherhood. Hello. 
He's got 12 planets. He's got 191,000 population. Is neutral. We do have closed borders. This guy uh, doesn't look very good. I don't know. I just don't like the look of him. I mean, just texture-wise and stuff, his face-wise. I mean, I get it. He's supposed to look like a senator or whatever, but he just doesn't look like a senator to me. He looks like he's his mouth curves down, so, we, you know, it's just, I don't know. Don't like it. This ship belongs to the Earth Federation. Please allow our planetarium to present this present his credentials. Uh, you have 10 galactic minutes to leave our system, otherwise you'll be tasting some plasma from our orbital platforms, which we don't actually have. Uh, but they don't know that. Um, we welcome Earthlings and offer to exchange embassies. Welcome Earthlings, please accept these gifts. So, how friendly do we want to be with the humans? Anyone have a preference in the chat? Anyone? <sighs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking it would not be bad to be friendly with someone. It would not be bad since we're going to be like surrounded by enemies. There's no sense in fighting three or four people at the same time. So, uh, the Earth Federation is prepared to sign economic and political agreements with all of our stellar neighbors. Okay, so now he's going to leave. He's going to respect us. That's good. Fleet reaches destination. All right, so you are an oil tanker. All right, you're just... We got a colony ship coming down here. We got colony ships headed up to get colonists. I can't believe I never put colonists on this ship. But I can understand why, because I built it over here and it's our industrial planet, but it just doesn't have any population. It can spit out literally a bazillion ships. Um, things to keep in mind is all the ships you build also take resources as upkeep. So, uh, if we actually look at that, but let's build us a couple uh, fighter laser carriers, the new version 5s. See, here's the upkeep cost. So, I guess a little bit of metals and a little bit of organics and a little bit of plutonium. No gravitonium and no iridium, but it does cost a little bit of gravitonium and iridium to make them. So we're going to create, uh, make a fleet of. <sighs> so these are the lasers, pew pew pew, fighters. They have 20 fighters, carriers. So we're going to make uh, four, 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 three of them, sure. And they can hold, uh, oops, did I click? No, I didn't click. Um, 20 fighters. So we need to look at our X-Wing fighters as well. Have three lasers. Hmm. All right, so we're going to build three of these guys. And then we're going to build a new ship. We're going to take our X X X-Wing fighters, and we're going to build... Let's see, we need to build uh, 20, 40, 60. 60 of them. Well, we can only build 50, so we'll build 50. That should make them a little bit happier. Oh, look, they're already happier. This is the place that was all bent out of shape. Wait, no, wait, wait, was it? Yes, this is the place that was all bent out of shape. Now they're not at the edge of, the, um, of our border, so they feel all safe now. These guys are probably all like, oh, hello, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. And plus we have pirates next to us, which means they might be guarding another good system, which means once we get these carriers built, uh, it might be, oh, 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 oh we need 9,000 to get over there. God, 
We have a big jump from here actually out there. We need to colonize maybe this system. <sighs> so we have a less of a jump. Let's see, that to that is 38. To that to that is 58. Let's see what's on this system. Metals, organics, plutonium, which are all really low. That's a bummer. What about this? Oh yeah, this is a good one. 20 organics plus iridium. Hmm. But to get from here to here costs us 5,800. And we know we just redesigned our strike carriers. They're only doing 5,000. They're not doing 5,800. Hmm. What about this system? What do you got here? 622. Mm. This actually, this system is would be the best of the three. The problem is it's just too far to get our ships from here over here. And a 222 system is not very good. Damn. Hmm. I mean, we could send them from here to here, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. That's a long way to take them, though, instead of coming right here, because we want to secure our ways in and out, like this system here, obviously. If they break through here, that's... It's game over anyways. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this crap, buddy? We were going to voice our protests over that. Your fleet invaded our territory within the vicinity of the star Hasha. Agreement that exists between our states does not suggest free movement of your fleet on foreign territory. Therefore, we demand that this fleet would leave Logan Brotherhood boundaries no later than 24 months. Otherwise, we will take appropriate measures. All right, um, what was I doing? See, get distracted. Oh, yes, we're trying to figure out how to get our ships from here over to here. Because uh, there's no sense in having a big fleet here. It does absolutely nothing for us. We need to get our fleets over here and over here. That's the way in and out of our systems. Well, actually, this one, too. Yes, I think we're going to try to get this one. Two, four, four, four. Eh, that's not great either. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Now, what are you doing? You got your colonists. You're on your way. You're going to colonize this system right here. Actually, can you, you can make it all the way here, can't you? Yes, you can, actually. So if we come all the way out here and colonize, then our colonizer will get fuel, and then we can colonize something else. Where is our damn scout? What is he doing? Oh, he's headed back. That's right. All right, let's let it go. I have a plan. What, what, what? Oh, you reached here, so now you should be able to board some colonists. Thank you. So our, my plan now is to take the f the oil freighter, oil tanker, bring it back over here, and then we can ship our, uh, with the oil freighter, we can then take our laser carriers out this way. Hmm. And this might be a good system. How long is it going to take to get this stuff done? Uh, nine months, two years, and what is this thing? Oh, six years for the 50 X-Wing fighters. So it's going to take us a little while. Because <sighs> I'd like to have a colony ship built in case we take over this system and it ends up being something really good. What is this thing? That's our scout. Okay, he's hit it back. <sighs> This means we won't need our oil tanker over here to get this colony ship unstuck. Alright, come back. You go back over that way. 
Oh, wait, you need... Is there anything else we need to colonize? Oh, hang on a second. Two, four, sixteen, four. Hmm, that's not a bad little system. It's got iridium, some metals, and organics. Oh, look, hey, look, our food is pop, um, popular. Our food is popular, no. Our food is uh, high enough there. Hello? What are you doing in our space? Don't even think about it, buddy. Hmm. So he's got eight farms. He's going to build a planetary res research institute, which I believe is the one that gives him force fields. Planetary Research Institute. Yes, yeah, so this one here is different than the one that gives you the beakers. That's the one we want to get the atoms. Okay, good. Alright, what I'm going to do is actually save the game because it didn't like totally... Uh, let's go ID Jester 2... No, wait a minute. Let's start. Let's cancel. Go to save. New save. It's just live. Uh, let's go to B. There we go. So, I can always go back if things really screw up. Alright, um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Colonizer. You're still going up there. You... We got our food, we got some radium, we got some organics, we need to get more metals. We're actually getting some radium and some gravitonium. Not very much. Hmm. Well, we might as well look. Oh, got another one inside our system here. 210, two, two, some more iridium. We don't have, actually, let's look at our gravitonium because I don't think we have a lot of systems that actually have gravitonium. So we have a one, a one, a half a one. And that's on the Earth like, so we're not going to be using. We're not going to be using that for the minerals. We might be switching this one to a production planet instead of an agriculture because it looks like we've looks like we fixed our food issue. Yay! And since this one's so far out in space, I don't want to have to be shipping ships out there. And it has 78. I mean, that's not a, that's not like super awesome, you know, but our production's almost, you know, minus 1.8 is almost where it should be. Not exactly, but not bad. All right, so it all comes down to what are we doing with this Yahoo? I think we need, How far is it from there to there? 52. So even if we colonize this, our 5,000 ships couldn't get from here to here. So we'd still need to colonize this. So we'd have to colonize both of these worlds. Or we'd have to make them a 6,000 mile. <sighs> or we could just use your uh, oil tanker, which is a good option. All right, folks, I am going to be taking a break. We're going to be coming back and playing more Polaris Sector later today, probably uh, just a couple more hours, maybe a mid-afternoon. So I'm going to take a break for a little while and think about what I want to do, and I will pick this up later today. So thank you one and all for joining us. Again, if you're interested in uh, becoming a subscriber to my YouTube channel or my Twitch channel, look up ID Jester. 
and uh, we do lots of live streams here. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.